Like after the brief on started. Okay, you are a girl boss and wear earrings. <laughs> you <laughs> rookie! <laughs> Sit there! Not the run! Chloe! Chloe! It started! I'm sorry! It started! <laughs> no fans! No fans! No fans! The fact that you're also recording this house. <laughs> no fans, look at this rookie! Do you have anything else you want to insult me about? Um... <laughs> Thanks for giving me a place to live. <laughs> I'm gonna make my one scene of the day. <laughs> I just tried to punch you and you looked away. Oh, sorry. I was running through the six with my woes. Oh my god. <laughs> Smile! Hello, vlog! Very... Very pumped because I'm doing 25 readathon romance edition, like we always do the monthly 25 readathon that we do. Well, me, Kevin, Jamie, and Caitlin do. Unfortunately, Kevin can't participate this time, so it's actually going to be me, Jamie, Caitlin, and my friend Yana, who recently started a booktube channel. Yes. Her channel is Fawn Child, so of course I'll link them all below. You should definitely subscribe to them all if you haven't. Yes. Um, but obviously, this is Jamie. And Hi. she is my roommate now, so this is actually going to be our first time where we're able to do it in real life. Usually we're on FaceTime, and we're still going on FaceTime with like Caitlin and Yana, but usually we're just on FaceTime and now we can do it together in person, which is so fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited. And also, usually, you know, I sleep, but I'm going to try to stay up the whole time. Mm -hmm. Because I have Jane with me and she's oh. gonna do the same. Yeah, and Seven. I feel like we can like punch each other if we're <laughs> sleeping, yeah. you know, like we can just help each other ah! We can help each other stay up. I want to see if it's possible to stay up for the entire 24 hours Yeah, I really don't know but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Is this your reading journal? Yeah. Yeah, Jamie's just like next to me like looking through my journals <laughs> Anyway, so I need to talk about my reading plans I have most of my books on my iPad, so I'm currently in the middle of... Oh, I'm gonna have to put the book over, like... Is that okay? That's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm not being rude, I just have to put the book here. But I'm currently reading The Deal by L. Kennedy, and this is book one in the Off Campus series. Excuse me, can you not put the book over my face? <laughs> Shut up. I read this because Jamie's like, oh, you should read it this week. And unfortunately, I didn't read it before the readathon, but it's fine. I'm on 16% and I'm gonna finish it during this readathon, obviously. And it's really fun so far. It's basically about like this girl and this guy in college and you know, the girl's like the classic, like more shy, nerdy girl and the guy is like the classic jock player guy. They make a deal because he needs help with his studies and she's gonna like tutor him and stuff. It's fun so far, but I don't have too many thoughts cause I'm still quite kind of in the beginning. Why can I not? Anyway, so I feel like I'm stressed because Jamie's like telling me to hurry up because, okay, no offense, it is 4.13 and we were supposed to start at 4 p.m. So I am a little bit stressed because Jamie's like, hurry up. But I'm very sorry, yeah. Okay, so next book that's on my TBR. Triss X Venom by Penelope Douglas. This is a female, female romance. I'm gonna buddy read that. <laughs> oh, I love how you just keep. <laughs> back <laughs> anyway i don't know where she went so yes i'm gonna read just six of just six venom by penelope douglas i have already started this ah! <laughs> oh my god i think there's prescription in that thing so you probably can't see yeah but i can't tell because my eyes are already blurry from my tears <laughs> Wait, that is for youtube of all um youtube youtube apology video time <laughs> no this is what they do I usually go like this. <sighs> I've tried to film this video so many times now. No, hang on, I've got one. Okay, yeah, yeah. They'll start it and it'll be like this, and then they'll start the video like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, <laughs> they're sitting, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd be making this video. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is. Where do I start? Where do I begin? <laughs> Wait, can you do the I'm just red thing? The truth is, and it's embarrassing, and it sucks, but. <laughs> I was desperate. <laughs> Did you see that in the um, first sentence challenge? Yes, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny. 
It's very funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's really hilarious. It's hilarious. One of some of my other favorite YouTuber apology videos. I quite like Laura, whatever her name is, one where she's just Laura like, <laughs> and it's like no tears. Just, I'm just so sorry. <laughs> no, it's another jump cut, and then you see the tears. So she probably got like some like water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're telling me to hug up, and now you're talking about YouTuber apology. Sorry. You? Yeah. <laughs> Tristix Venom. I guess I got nobody read this. So I'm 34% of the way through this. And I'm enjoying it so far. It's basically about these two girls who like hate each other. They definitely like bully each other and stuff, but they're also attracted to each other. And there's also like a lot of like internalized biphobia and stuff. So far I'm enjoying it, although some of the bullying is definitely a bit much for me. Like some of the things they say, I'm like, yikes. <laughs> like Does it kind of remind you of our relationship? No, some of the things they say are way too intense. Oh my god, are they slurs? I can't remember if they're slurs, but the D word? I think that's brought up. But no, there's this one thing. I, I always keep thinking of this one line. Obviously, I won't say it. You'll get to it. But I'm just like, oh, it's just so intense. Anyway, so, but apart from that, <laughs> I am enjoying it. And they do have good chemistry and stuff. And obviously, you know, love a female, female romance, bully vibe. So, yes, gonna finish that. <laughs> I thought you have good eyesight. <laughs> you on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then the next book I'm going to be buddy reading with Caitlin, not Jamie, and that is The Chase by L. Kennedy. Die! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> you know, I'm going to go hang out with Penny. <laughs> We actually are going to buddy read The Chase by L. Kennedy, which is actually a spin-off series to The Deal. So this is the first book in the spin-off series to the, the series that is The Deal. Okay, that was so confusing. I'm so sorry. I'm in a weird, I'm in a, I'm in a little bit of a silly goofy mood, to be honest. Anyway, The Chase. I was recommended this because someone said that it has Punk 57 vibes and apparently the love interest is supposed to be similar to Misha. So, very excited. And obviously me, Jamie and Caitlin buddy read Punk 57 in a recent romance readathon and we loved that experience. So we're going to do the same with The Chase. So those are my three books that I know for sure I'll probably be reading. I don't have any physical books, but I feel like I want to have a physical book to read. Hmm... I think my physical book will be Open Water. This was on a previous TBR for one of my romance readathons. I didn't get to it, so I think I'll read it for this one. Exactly, because I, I do want to have a physical book to read. So stunning, stunning, stunning. It's 4.18, so I better get to reading. Bye. Well, not bye. See you in a second. Hey. So we're in a little bit of a silly goofy mood. We. I literally asked you who you are and you said yep. Are you trying to gaslight me? Anyway, we are on FaceTime with the stunning Caitlin. Hello. I think Yana's gonna join us later on. But Jamie's starting with Honey Girl, and it's already amazing, right? Yeah, it's the pro I've just uh, I've just read the prologue and already it's stunning. Yeah. So if I get really jealous, I might just like steal that from her and like read it this read on. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go get my annotating pencil case and annotate that fucking prologue. Oh. Exactly. But yeah, I'm gonna read the deal. Hopefully, I can read it quickly. I don't know why I'm showing you. Here it is. It's not a silly <laughs> goofy mood. I have transcended. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You know, I actually am in a bit of a silly goofy mood, not gonna lie. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Celeste. <laughs> oh! This is BWM by me. Oh, that's absolutely BWM. Oh. Oh. Ew! You probably love that because you freaking love that aliens get on Fortnite. <laughs> Isn't that your crush? Nick. Something from Oh Nick Wild. <laughs> Nick Wild from Zootopia. Oh, Zeddy. Oh. Hey, hey, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look 
so charming when he smiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a crush on the fox emoji now. Oh my god. <laughs> How dare you underestimate me? How dare you? <laughs> I'm reading Weirdo. I thought it was books with Chloe, not annoying people with Chloe. Not one of your best jokes. Yeah, I know, but I don't care, I'm frustrated. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god, it's Jamie's library. Oh, I didn't realize you were vlogging. Oh, you would have nice to me if you knew it was rolling. Let me tell you a <gasps> story. <laughs> About a girl and a boy. You can deal with the copyright claims. <laughs> he fell in love with his best friend. When she's around, he feels nothing but joy. But she was already broken. And it made her blind. But she can never believe in love. Whatever treat her right. <laughs> if you stop singing and start reading, I'll give you a lolly. Ugh. Fine. Okay, hey, 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 what time is it? Summer, is it? 6.30. It's a vacation, what time is it? Party, is it? Let's start screaming, shout. Finally, summer's here. Oh, exactly. Chilling out. Precious out. <laughs> now, my girls, what it's all what about. Yeah. When I think of High Musical 2, I now think of you, which is a huge compliment because. I've obviously watched it so many times, but like our times watching it. Chloe, literally same. Really? Literally same. Who else, you know? Like, who exactly. else? Exactly. Oh, stunning. Oh, yeah, Penny's here. <laughs> I'm so mysterious. Oh, wait, you can see Jamie as well. Jamie. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I'm 32% through the deal. I'm happy because things are finally progressing in terms of the romance, which is obviously the main point of the book. Don't you love them? Yeah, they're really cute. Um, I had the scene where like she was forced to stay over. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I was like, yeah, love that, love that. Definitely some cringy lines. Like there was like something about the beaver. <laughs> but you know, that's what I was expecting with this kind of book. So it's fun. I have a secret to reveal. What? I'm kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally 6.30 and for some reason Can I- Can you have a fucking coffee or something? No, yeah. all nighter. I know, I know, I know. I was really pissing out and I was like, oh, yikes. But I'm gonna go make a tea now. Maybe even a coffee if Penny wants to make me one. Yeah, I'm making tea. Oh, oh would you make me one too, Penny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Oh, God, who is that? Ooh, who's that? I don't know, I'm scared. Wait, I'll come with you. Take the baseball back. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like that? Because you're freaking out. Well, the door ran and no one was there. <laughs> Free trip. This is literally everything. Oh, eggs! Exactly. There's like marshmallows underneath that you can't see. Look at this stunning sight. I'm gonna expose Jamie. Instead of reading, she messaged someone from Love Island. <laughs> She's in love with a BWM. I thought it was funny. I just wanna say that I'm not messaging, like, thinking I'm gonna get a response. I'm being like, I'm not like sliding into the DMs. Stop trying to downplay it, you're in love with him. Because I thought it would be funny. Oh, you literally God. cried. Okay, then God. She's literally cried over him. I actually have, do you want to see the photo? Oh my God. That was God. me crying when Brad left the villa. So I messaged him saying, I would have left with you, King. Oh my <laughs> God. What? I'm reading. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> you are in love with a weirdo. Oh, oh my God. Shut up, he didn't reply. He liked it. He liked it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bless him. Bless him. I just love him. Feel free to bully Jamie in the comments. Brad. Oh, Look, who do you like? What, are the, what is your favorite guy from Love Island? None of them. They all suck. You're so conservative. Oh, <laughs> Stunning. 
We've relocated to the couch and I'm on 38% of the deal. And you know, oh, <laughs> cute. Matching candle, burning a flame for my girlies. Exactly. We both have our vanilla candles lit. Yeah, it definitely was like a bit of a slow start in terms of the romance progression, but we are at 30% now and finally things are happening and I'm like, oh, exactly. And I think I'm gonna fly through like the rest of the book. They had this stunning like kiss moment. I love the fake dating trope and I didn't expect it in this. Oh, it's just a fun time. You guys, I would take fake dating over enemies to lovers. I agree with you. Same. Cause also I feel like with enemies to lovers, no offense, most of the time people don't do it right. Exactly. Like I feel like a lot of time it's like, oh my god, I hate you. Page later, actually, you know what? Mm, exactly. Not really. Because enemies to lovers is punk fifty seven. Because it's like actually no, but also I love that one because it's like friends to enemies to lovers. Yeah, exactly. Penelope exactly. Douglas actually does um, enemies to lovers really well. Like um, I didn't love her book Bully, but the enemies to lovers was done very well, and it was also like I hate everyone but you. It was also childhood best friends to enemies to lovers. Really? Maybe you should reread it. <laughs> Well, because, you know, yeah, like Punk 57 was four star that turned into a five star. Maybe Bully will be a three star that turns into a four star. Interesting. Oh, I thought because, you gave it two star. No, I gave it three. But when I think about like my ranking of Penelope Douglas books, I think it goes Punk 57, obviously, and then Bully, then Corrupt, <laughs> and then Birthday Girl, and then Credence. I've only read one so far, so Punk 57 for me. And Do you know what else is fun about fake dating? You can lay it in. Enemies to lovers or hate to love. Yeah. When they're like not getting along or whatever. Like exactly. Yeah. 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 And I also love when it's like fake dating to make someone else jealous. And oh. then they realize obviously the person they want to be with is the person that they're doing the fake dating with. Yeah. 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 I need some more fake dating in my life. Oh yeah. If you have any fake dating romance and recommendations for us. Leave it in the comments below. I mean, I really like the unhoneymooners, but I know that you guys don't care about it. Guys, this is very inappropriate. We're doing a readathon, and neither of, you, neither of you are reading. You're just on TikTok. I think I read more than you. Excuse me, I finished a book. She finished a book. Get off my case. Oh, I'm actually impressed. Fifty-three <laughs> percent. Thank you. No offense. It is nine forty-four p.m. and it's nearly twelve a.m. for Caitlin. Very proud of her for staying up. Likes. Round of applause for Caitlin. For me. Jamie, excuse me. Sorry, I was just looking at Instagram. What, stalking Brad or something? <laughs> <laughs> I just love him. Were you actually? No. <laughs> okay, where am I? So what would you do if I was like, I've made a new Instagram account and the Instagram account was like, love island underscore Brad is my love underscore exes. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, <laughs> at this <laughs> point. Brad, if you're watching this, Reply to Jamie's DM. Brad in a book <laughs> And then he watches my video and goes, she is 100% my type on paper. I absolutely love her. I feel like he would be inside. So I'm up to 74% of the deal. And you know, so far it's been like a face-out vibe, but honestly, it's really creeping up to the fourth. Oh, by the way. If you hear that, that's Penny. She's playing a horror game with her friends. It's really creeping up to the four star vibes because it's really fun. And obviously, like, you know, I was complaining that it was like taking some time for the romance to develop, but it was obviously worth it because the way that he is becoming obsessed with her, Garrett becoming obsessed with Hannah. Exactly. And, you know, he's the classic player and stuff. And he's like, oh, I don't want a girlfriend. But then he's like, oh my God, who is this? I just love seeing him become so obsessed with her. And they are so cute together. So honestly, I'm having a really good time. And four star vibes, loving it. Caitlin is reading the score, is that what it's called? Yeah, the score, which, which is, is the third yeah. book. And it's, in my opinion, the best one. Yeah, Jamie's like obsessed with Dane, Dane, Dane Delorontis. <laughs> he is a bit of me. He is just stunning. And then I'm reading The Goal, which is the fourth book in the Off Campus series. So right now we're literally all reading the Off Campus series, which Al is just Kennedy mad. Moment. <laughs> is Al Kennedy going to become our new Penelope Douglas? Maybe. I'm down. So far she's had more hits than Penelope. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm so excited for us to read The Chase. Yeah, that'll be really fun. That's gonna be so fun. Yeah. Oh, and Jamie also read Waiting for Spring. Oh yeah, OG Books with Chloe classic. <laughs> so that was really funny. Did you read that in your very first video? No, no, no. 
Also, I'm feeling pretty good in terms of staying up. Probably will have a change. So am I. Not here. <laughs> Not like this. Caitlin has gone to sleep, but Yan is here and she's about to start oh. reading. She's starting at 1 a.m., ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stunning. Show what you're going to read first. Exactly. And after ASMR. after you've read yeah, this. Yeah, love it. Oh, exactly the ASMR. Honest. Oh, um, the nails as well. Can yeah. I see the nails? Oh. Oh my god, yeah. love it. Um, after this, you can go watch Kevin's video. Oh yeah, he just uploaded a video um, reading normal people. Yeah, and he did spoilers in his oh. discussion, and then there's really also funny clips of me and Chloe, so you should watch it after you've finished normal people. <laughs> I was so glad that this, because only two of them came in that I ordered, and I was so glad that normal people did. Yeah. Because You'll love it. I, I think, yeah. I either 100% wanted Punk 57 or normal people to reach. Stunning. You get through normal people so fast because it's like under 300 pages, and then the bride test you'll also get through really fast. So I have 100% complete faith. Yeah. Oh. Stop it. Exactly. Yeah, Definitely these two. Yeah, exactly. You'll love them. For the weekend. You'll love them. Hey. <laughs> I think it's like 12. I just finished reading The Deal and I loved it. Jamie's rereading a scene right now. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. It was so fun and they are so exactly. cute. Exactly. He has a point. <laughs> Let me see what you've got. Stop being a jackass, Garrett mutters. No, he has a point. I answer awkwardly. Of course she wants to kiss Dean. Of course. <laughs> Garrett and Hannah so cute and you know it is a bit of fun that's what it is like for what it is just a fun romance it's stunning also i don't think i mentioned but it actually does have some triggering content potentially triggering content so just letting you know there is explicit talk of rape oh right wait sorry this kind of this clip kind of sucks because i feel like i'm kind of going a bit insane but you need another coffee <laughs> I don't even know if I mentioned that I gave it four stars, but yes, I gave it four stars. I think I just communicated it in my brain, but didn't say it. But yes, four stars for the deal. Now, I'm going to move on to... Well, actually, my iPad's going to die, so I need to charge it. Going to move on to my... <laughs> so I'm going to move on to Open Water, which is my physical book. Like, the only book that I have physically to read. So I'm going to do that, but before I do that, no offense, I'm going to get my... PJs, makeup off, have another coffee or something. Maybe even have some ice cream if I'm in a cheeky goopy mood. Cheeky. <laughs> cheeky, that's a new combo. Yeah, so I feel like I'm not actually feeling tired. I'm just feeling a little <laughs> in a silly goopy mood, you know? But midnight's not that late compared to the times we've been staying until recently. No, I know. Like, I definitely am not, like, going to sleep now. <laughs> you know, I still feel confident about it, but I just need to, like, you know. We're not going to sleep at all. What do you mean now? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, we're not sleeping at all. But I just need to, you know, get in my PJs and stuff. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I could do with another coffee or I could do with an energy drink or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, not me looking like an absolute <laughs> hag. What are you doing? When are you going to get in your PJs? Well, I just need to change my top. Maybe I'll get to my little butterfly moment though. Just yeah. Just a little cheeky, goofy mood. <laughs> um, so when you come back downstairs, I'll go up and I'll do my washing of my face and everything. Stunning, lads. Also, if you want to read in bed and you don't want to wake up Penny, we can um, read in my bed. Don't look too into it, guys. Seriously, <laughs> do not look too much into it. We're not dating, please. <laughs> Silly goofy mood, guys. Silly goofy mood. That's not even a new quote, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually 1 a.m. and I actually don't even feel tired. I'm feeling. Is it 1 a.m.? It's literally 1 a.m. Yeah. I'm actually feeling so good. Like, I really feel confident. Me too. Like, I literally don't feel tired. Yeah, neither. I'm going to save the energy drink for later. Oh, exactly. Like, I don't even need it right now. Exactly. And honestly, it's in my life because we've got a movie in the background, reading our books, and I just started Open Water. Here's the cover. And wow, the prologue. Like, don't let that I mean I thought the promo for <laughs> Honey Girl was amazing and I've put it down okay so yeah I'm obviously not gonna get my hands up too high but the prologue and also it's written in second person which I'm not usually a fan of but oh not the battery flashing okay let me just quickly say something I just wanted to quickly say this is a stunning quote you two are in something I don't know what it is but you guys are in something some people call it relationship some people call it friendship some call it love but you two you two are in something you would soon learn that love made you worry but it also made you beautiful love made you black as in you were most colored when 
in her presence. It was not a cause for concern. One must rejoice. You could be yourselves. Stunning. I'm really excited for this. And I feel like I'm really in the mood for this vibe. Stunning. Need to go charge my camera now. But I'm going to continue reading, obviously. It's 2.20. Exactly. Well, I don't know why I said exactly. But it's 2.20. And I'm actually feeling pretty good. It's obviously a little tired, but I'm about to make it. A little tired. <laughs> no, just like the tiniest bit, but obviously like the tea will fix it. I'm about to make us some tea. I'm on page like 50 of open water. Oh, these are our cute little portraits. Scruffs, Chloe, Jamie. Anyway, yes, I'm on like page 50 and I am still loving it. So I'll finish it soon, hopefully. Okay, so yes, 4 a.m. Going strong. Jamie did yawn. So did you. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? No offense. I'm actually feeling good. I thought I would need an energy drink, but like, I'm actually good to go. Good to go. We'll see how I feel. I reckon I'll crash at like seven. I won't go to sleep, but I reckon I'll start like crashing. But then I'll just push through it for like an hour and then I'll be good to go again. Yeah, in a bit of a silly goofy mood. I'm on page 100 of Open Water. And I just want to read out this stunning quote. You know that to love is both to swim and to drown. You know to love is to be a whole partially joined to fracture a heart of bone. It is to bleed and heal. It is to be in the world honest. It is to place someone next to your beating heart in the absolute darkness of the inner and trust that will hold you close. To love is to trust who trust is to have faith. Stunning quote. Really loving this book. Four star vibes, I would say. Really quick to read, actually. Yeah. <laughs> These vlog clips are so delirious. But we're not tired, are we? No, absolutely not. Not tired at all. Hopefully, Slender Man can come. <laughs> why would you say that? Because if you know nice... how I feel, why would you say that? <laughs> It'd be nice to have a little, like, you know. So, like, if you know. Yeah. Because I feel like. Sunday would be a fun, like, friend. Alright, well, you can replace me with him then. No, not replace, just he add. kill me. <laughs> so... Maybe he'd kill you because you're scared. Like, if you're not scared of him, he won't. Yeah, we weren't scared of him in the game and he still killed us. No, but I actually don't think he killed us. I feel like he just took us to his alternate dimension. Jamie. Aww. Aww. Stop it. You didn't finish that. Yeah, that was right. so aggressive. <laughs> What is it? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I want to read, okay? Well, clearly not because you keep talking to me. Okay, well, it's a boring book. What? I was running. Whoa! How'd you get into my house? Shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> get out of my house. Literally shut up. Oh my God, Kevin, can you see this? I'm so BWS just hanging out of my house on the couch. Don't you live in New Zealand? Wow. Oh God, you're crazy. Hey. Oh, shut up. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Maybe you need to sleep. Seriously, because you're getting a bit silly and goofy. You think I just like? Maybe. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. That's some risky advice right there. <laughs> Do you actually get to sleep? <laughs> no, no. You know, I could have fallen asleep right there and then. No. This is actually stunning. <laughs> Are you kidding? How did you not even react to that? Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> did you know I was there? No. <laughs> 
Suck. I should have gone that way. Yeah, if you'd come that way, that would have been sick. <laughs> well, I didn't know if I could make it because I was trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> oh, nice try. Oh, I started inhaling. <laughs> okay, take two. <laughs> That's 10 out of 10. <laughs> and then can you do the little grr? Grr. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. And grr. 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 Wait, you don't even have the thing on. Oh. No, I'm vlogging at you, dumbass. That's awkward. I didn't get the memo, did I? I told you the memo. I thought, like, you were going to put it on as well on FaceTime and then we're both going to do it. So, sorry, but that's your own misunderstanding. And that's just because you're a dumbass. I'm very sorry. Do apologize. Thank you for apologizing. I accept your apology. Or maybe I don't, and we can have a little. <laughs> I. What time is it? Seriously, it's 5 18 a.m. So it is 5 18. Oh. And honestly, I am really proud of myself because who am I? Literally, who am I? Like, I don't even feel tired. 5.18 a.m. I am going strong. I just finished my second book. Finished Open Water. <laughs> what are you doing? Kevin's in a little bit of a silly, goofy mood. Because <laughs> if you're not doing an all-nighter, then where the fuck you at? <laughs> Kevin's so excited to... Uh. Like, he's so excited that I'm up at this hour because it's like 8 p.m. for him. He's not used to me being up at this hour for him. So he's loving it. Aren't you? Thriving. Thriving. Jamie actually ditched me nothings. So she oh, is upstairs. Thanks. She said she was going to go in her bed and I thought that was a risky move. I'm going to check in on her soon. I'm actually going to check in, her, check in on her after this clip. But yeah, I think that's a bit of a risky move, but obviously I respect her decision, but I don't think I'll be joining her in bed because I feel like if I get in bed, I just feel like if you're too comfy in bed, like that's when things go south. Yes, I finished open wa water <laughs> and wow, I loved it. Wow! <laughs> I really loved it. Um, it was just so beautiful, stunning. There were so many moments I was like, exactly. Just wow, the way that it's written and like I said, it's written in second person. So I think some people really went vibe with that. It definitely took me some time to like get used to it and get in it, like that writing style, because it's not my favorite. But once I got into it, I was like, oh, exactly. Like so beautiful, so many stunning lines. I have quite a few dog-eared pages. I want to um, read this out. You want to tell her that you have stopped trying to forget that feeling, that anger, that ugly, and instead have accepted it as part of you, along with your joy, your beauty, your light. Multiple truths do exist and you do not have to be the sum of your traumas. Stunning. Like just, wow. And yeah, it's basically just a stunning, beautiful love story. Definitely also quite heartbreaking because these two people are in love, but they're struggling to be vulnerable with each other because the world has made it so hard for them to exist as a black person and not have trauma. <sighs> I just love them. It's, it's really beautiful, so stunning. So I gave this four, four stars. Absolutely beautiful, definitely recommend it. And obviously it's quite a short read, so just stunning. You should also read this, I think you'd love it. You want to lie beside her in the darkness and whisper your truths to her. To my queen, forever is a mighty long time, but I knew you before I met you, so now we're free. You don't have a home coming into this world, but you're home now. You're home now? Aww. Isn't that stunning? That is stunning. You know that to love is both to swim and to drown. You know that love is to be whole, partial, and dry. Just... Do they exactly when you're whacking into your head? All right. Oh, this is hardcover. You trying to kill me? I'll do Open a Open it, obviously. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, no. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to check in on Jemme. Finish Tristix Venom. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm. I think I did mention that I'm like 30% of the way through, so yeah, yeah, I already mentioned that. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that. Hopefully I'll finish that before Caitlin wakes up and then when Caitlin wakes up, we can read The Chase, the bunny read that we're doing. Stunning plan if you ask me. Oh, also we're doing a Fortnite stream in three hours. Hey, it is 6 a.m. I'm still going strong, literally so strong, like, wow. But you know who ditched me? Jamie. She, just as I suspected, went to sleep, went to her room, and she was sleeping. So she betrayed me, yeah. 
Which is actually kind of surprising. I feel like I was the one who was most likely to sleep. So I'm kind of proud of myself, but I am on FaceTime with Kevin at least. So he's watching Love Island and just giving me company. Company. <laughs> and I'm going to continue reading Tristan Swinnam. No offense, I'm filming a book clip. No offense, we don't care. This is the best day of my life. I don't know if I've ever woken up and like Chloe's awake, you know? Aww. <laughs> stunning. Like her being awake right now for me is just stunning. Isn't it stunning here? I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Amazing. You should do this all the time. <laughs> Not sure about that. <laughs> okay, so what time is it, guys? It is 6.50. It was stunning because um, Caitlin woke up and then she's like, oh, God, are you awake? Hey. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, honestly, I still feel pretty good. I'm a little bit tired, so like, I'm going to make a tea just to, like, you know, energize myself. But I'm feeling really, really good. And anyway, so Jamie said she's going to wake up in 10 minutes. Like, she set her alarm for 7, so... If she doesn't wake up, I'm gonna be like, no offense. But also, I was doing this on FaceTime and Kevin was so impressed, so I'm gonna do it. You think you're hot, but I'm sorry you're not exactly who you think you are. <laughs> Kevin was like, wow, you think you know someone. <laughs> and then they have a hidden. You do, you think you know someone and then they pull out like a hidden party trick that you never knew about. <laughs> oh, you know another party trick? Oh. A simple juggle. Speed <laughs> it up a bit, come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> bit oh. slow, did it? <laughs> no, you did not see that. I was having a little, um, as Kevin said, silly goopy breakfast. Oh my god, wait. So, I don't even look tired. Yeah, you look literally amazing. You oh, are yeah. literally glowing. <laughs> like, have you ever been this iridescent? Like, maybe staying up agrees with you. A little confirmed offensive. Her, confirmed. Sorry, it's in the nighttime. Well, the fact that you're saying I've never looked more iridescent. I said, have you ever looked more iridescent? Do you have the opportunity that you have? <laughs> I am having my lucky charms. No offense, this is the best cereal of all time. I had it for the first time when I was in America a few years ago, and I was like, exactly. And then Kitty told me where to buy it in Australia. I love you, Kitty. Like, thank you, because it's literally the best thing ever. I literally get excited to wake up every morning just so I can have my lucky charms. It's just delicious. This lighting kind of sucks, but let's just kind of go with it because I'm in a silly goofy mood. I feel like it's kind of like a fun lighting, like it sucks, but switch things up, you know. But anyway, so I am on 43% of Trisix Venom and I'm definitely enjoying it more. Like I feel like, you know, like I said, there were, bullying was a bit too much, but they're definitely starting to become more like, and I can't wait for them to be like, oh my God, I love you. And then they'll be really sweet and cute. There's some very interesting discussions on bisexuality and obviously, like I mentioned, you know, there is a lot of internalized biphobia, but it is being talked about more and I really like how it's been discussed. And oh my God, this lighting, no. But anyway, <laughs> we did a Fortnite stream. It was stunning. Um, this lighting still sucks, but I'll just do a quick clip to say I'm gonna continue reading now. And I'm feeling pretty good, especially because Caitlin is really hyping me up and also Kevin. They're both really hyping me up because they're just so shocked at me right now. And they're really impressed. And I love impressing my, um, my family. There's always a crying moment in the readathons, aren't there? <laughs> we love a silly sad sob. <laughs> a silly sad sob. A silly sad sob session. Exactly. Oh my god, do you know what that reminded me of? What? <laughs> Maybe you would have had a bit of more respect for me and a bit more girl code and just, you know, come and chat to me. I feel like I'm very approachable, you know, like it's a safe space, but it's okay, I'll get it. Yeah, so what are you thinking? So basically, I don't actually agree because <laughs> you're, act <laughs> you're actually not that approachable. You've got that long nose and it's very smooth. And no, sorry, sorry, I'm gonna stop you right fucking down. No, 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 I'm How saying you bring no. my biggest insecurity. Like, no, you know I'm so insecure. I didn't know you were insecure about it. I was actually gonna say I'm very jealous because as you can see, I also have a long nose. But I feel like yours is a better shape. I feel like you just could have went a better way about that. You really said it in a very aggressive tone. I'm sorry, um, I didn't I didn't that was not my intention at all. Intent is really important because like I don't think I can trust you no more. And like, 
But if you think intent is important, can you let me speak? Sorry, but can you please let me speak? No, sorry. 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 I'm actually trying to speak. Okay, you know what? I'm listening. I actually am interested in your man. I don't really care about girl codes. And I think I'm just going to take him. Sorry. Hope you understand. Do you know what? Like, you do you, hun. You do you, hun. I'm going to crack on my Uli because I know what we've got is real. I know that, like, he's nothing to you. Like, he's only himself. So, sorry. I didn't want to mention that to you because I was being nice, but you went there first. So, yeah, you crack on. I'm going to leave now. So, yeah, bye. See you later, hun. Okay. It is 1 p.m. and I did have a sneaky little nap. I was going strong, but I was reading and I was literally falling asleep while I was reading. Like, I needed to have a nap. So I did sleep for like around an hour. I'm on 50% of the book. And I think, depending on how I feel, I might like add like an hour to the readathon because of my nap. Because I do want to like have it like a 24 hour readathon, you know, where like I actually am reading for 24 hours. And I really want to finish Chess Six Venom, at least. Obviously I wanted to finish two more books, but you know. Being a little bit more realistic now with Tristix Venom. And I think I can finish it in the next few hours. So let's do it. Cheers. I finished Tristix Venom and it's 4.21. Yay. Loved it. They're so cute. Love Clay and Olivia. Literally so cute. Yep. But I will talk more about my thoughts tomorrow and end the vlog tomorrow because I'm literally exhausted. Hey, so I'm just going to end the vlog. It's actually been a few days since, well, it's Wednesday now. But I realized I forgot to end the vlog. I finished editing the vlog up until this point. It's definitely chaos because I obviously hadn't slept, but I'm so proud of myself, honestly. I don't know how I did it. I don't know if I'll be able to do it again. I will try for the next 24 hour readathon because Kevin wants me to do it with him. So we'll see how I can do in the next one. But don't forget that Jamie, Caitlin, and Yana's vlogs will be linked below. So proud of myself once again, and so happy that I read three stunning books, all four stars, exactly. And I'm just gonna end it here because, you know, this vlog is already like 40 minutes. But if you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon where I upload extra content, like extra reading books, extra live shows, we do a monthly buddy read, etc. I have my other channels, Jenna with Chloe and Ace Mom with Chloe, and if you wanna follow me on my socials, they're all linked below, as well as my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash game with Chloe. Thank you for watching, you're the best. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you're having a good day and night, and I'll see you in my next video.